And I was just reading the comments of people uh, saying like how um, dumb it is and how how Tumblr people think they're artists and they shouldn't actually be allowed in craft fairs and how they just steal stuff from others. And I was just like drinking my coffee like you made this mess and call me a pieces and she ordered you guys saw it my brand new embroidered ceiling forecast collection all my stuff is breaking lately and it's frustrating but i think it's broken oh. <laughs> this is the cutest box it's um, from Amazon and it has little polka dots on it right now. So we have to make this. I did a lot of applying to markets the last few weeks and um, I've gotten rejected from a lot. And again, we knew that was gonna happen. And I have this one now, which I don't know if I recommend it yet. because it is very dirty. Well, messy, not as much dirty. If you watched my last video, which was my Cincinnati brewery market, um, you will know that I am starting this video in the same outfit, same day, and I need to get this room back together because it is a mess. Cleaner than actually it normally is after a market, and that's because I obviously don't have to take as much stuff. Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna put this back together without having to take it all apart. To figure that one out. Uh, because this is the section I brought to the show right here. And that's the section I left. <laughs> We're gonna do the table first. Let's do this. Kitty toy, I'm assuming that came from a cat that you can't see right now. He's sleeping on my chair. He's a very sweet boy. But he drags his kitty toys back. I accidentally just deleted all the footage. Hey there, welcome. Um, so Rita, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be on YouTube. I, I promise, I promise you. Um, it does say TikTok, that is a lie. That is a lie. It deleted, I, I don't even know. Probably a good thing, because I don't think, like you guys understand I have a rash. <laughs> I don't think TikTok understands and my hands are like, you know what I mean. So anywho, thank you so much, Rita. You are just an angel. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Hello, good morning. It is uh, Thursday. We got back from, um, we went to a play group this morning. In our area, we have a mom groups 
every day of the week sometimes a couple in one day um so we just went to one this morning and um now we're back from it i think i hope asher is sleeping right now but you just never know because a few minutes ago i heard him still talking he just we slept until 8 45 this morning that is an unheard of experience i woke up and i well actually i didn't wake up on my own uh max woke me up our orange kitty I don't know what he wanted. I think he just wanted attention. Um, and then I looked at the clock and I was at 8.45. And I always have that like stress response. I mean like, is Asher okay? Because he's normally up between like six and seven. Uh, and he was, he was just sleeping. So anyways, I went and got him up because we had to go to mom group. And yeah, now we're here. It is like 1.30 PM. We just packed up Rita's order. Um, she ordered on Etsy and she ordered, you guys saw it, my brand new, embroidered feelings forecast collection this is the one she got obviously this is not the one that's in the bag um but it's the same one and i'm so excited you i know you're watching because on etsy she left a note saying she's been a long time subscriber so thank you so much you're gonna love it it's so soft and so really today's goal is just to um drop this off at the post office which is an easy goal because we're gonna go to work out tonight and I'll just plop it in the blue box on the way so I'm excited um but yeah uh again it was not unfortunately gonna be filmed on TikTok which sucks because I love doing TikTok um like shorts uh unpacking order videos <laughs> I don't really have any um, big priorities this week to get done as far as uh, the chunky bee goes because I don't really need to prep anything like like if I get orders yeah I'll, I'll have to make some stuff but it's been really 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 slow like Rita's order it had been close to a month since my last online order so we really don't need to do any prep I don't even have a show planned for the near future I literally have zero shows I have a ton of shows that I want to go to but one it is very very expensive because they all have applications open and if I get accepted um fingers crossed I would get accepted but I've been denied by a lot of places um you have to pay for them all at the same time and we don't have that and like it's not like I can just use PayPal credit for that stuff so I really want to go to that brewery again next month um just because it's one, it's in, at the brewery, it's fun. But it's also uh, February 18th, I think, and that is backed up to a holiday. And so it's kind of the same thing where it's kind of like a second Saturday, Saturday when they do it on Sundays like that. So because Monday, a lot of people wouldn't have work. I'm really hoping that they send that one out because I do think I for sure could do that one. Um, so I would do it again. And then what I'm so excited about, so I, you guys saw, I made my bookmarks and I love them. I am obsessed with them. I look at them all the time and they just make me smile. And they made so many other people smile at the show. And I need to come out with my permanent collection because with these, I did not make them all the same. I made them a little, like a tiny bit different on each one with different beads because these are my show bookmarks they don't have to be the exact same but I want to list them online and to do that I need them to be I don't want to just do like a one-of-a-kind one-off ones I want to be like this is my let's say it's this one this is my umbrella cat collection it's going to look exactly like this and you know when you order it like those are the beads you're getting um, I want to do something like that so I ordered I'm going to do three different bookmarks so I ordered the beads they're going to come in probably in the next couple weeks and then I can start listing them on Etsy. I don't know if I want to. I don't think I'm going to list these. I think I'm just going to keep these. I have 15 left just for the show, so I'll just take them to the shows with me. They'll sell out, I'm sure, in the next couple of shows. And then I'll just only do my... I Actually, I'm not going to say that. And then I'll do my like collection that I can sell online and take to shows. I'll still probably do some like fun ones and see how they perform at markets because like that's where I get feedback on my stuff like in-person feedback it's so nice I didn't tell you guys when I was doing my wrap-up video for the uh, 
uh, last show I went to at the brewery, which was literally the last video you would have watched um, if you follow, but I had so many positive uh, feedback on my new embroidery collection. Like people loved it. No one bought one. Um, like I said, everyone just bought a bookmark and my average sale was around $16, which was like a bookmark. <laughs> um, I, I only sold them for 10. I probably would have to do a couple dollars more. It's like when you go to a show, if you are someone that goes to a show um, with me, you're going to see my prices are a little bit cheaper. They're more like TikTok pricing because with TikTok, I don't have to pay for shipping or any of that. Um, and with Etsy, I have free shipping on it. And so what I do is usually put my stuff around $5 more than what I would sell it at an in-person event where I don't have to ship something. Um, that way it's saving you money as a customer with shipping rather than me just having you pay for it because normally shipping's around $10 on average um, and it's basically giving me a little bit of extra money to help with that cost because when I sell on Etsy it cuts into my profit more than I selling on TikTok or in person. It's just how that works. So um, if you're ever like, that's kind of like weird, like her pricing, because you see my shows when I do my um, videos and you're like, her, like this sweatshirt, I sell for $35 at a show, my coping skills sweater with the coping skills on my side. Um, but on Etsy, I sell it for 40. And my embroidery shirts, I sell it for 40 at the shows, but I sell it for 45 on Etsy. So that's where that, difference it's coming from because it does like I don't have to package this stuff it saves me money when people buy in person and um, I do want to list my I don't know why I haven't listed these yet my Stanley pouches online uh, because I've had these for months now how long have I had them probably since like September Ish, and I haven't listed them and I have no idea why so I'm gonna list these online uh, and then I think that is my only goal for the chunky bee this week is to list those because I'm gonna try to start getting everything listed because I probably only have a quarter of my stuff listed on Etsy and TikTok it's just like takes so much work but if I'm not listing stuff I can't make money so it's dumb. Oh, and then another goal is I have the cutest new cup design in my head. And it's going in, like tying in a little bit with my feelings forecast because I want to do weather themed um, cup or a couple of them. Like cutesy, no words or anything. And I need to get Randy's iPad out and start like sketching kind of what I want to do. So that's my only other goal. All right. I'm going to go see if I have any applications to read and make some money while Asher's sleeping. And then I'll check back in with you guys when I um, list my Stanley cups, probably. Yeah, I think that'll be the next time. Oh, and I also need to list my Stanley charms. Oh, and my tripod broke. I don't know what it is with me. All my stuff is breaking lately, and it's frustrating. But I think it's broken. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say it's not broken enough to do anything about it but I might change my mind on that because this camera is expensive and it's already half broken and I think this might just like do the trick to make it fully broken so I will see you later <laughs> bye Happy mm, Tuesday. I s Days of the week are not easy when you ha don't have like a real job that you go into. Um, it is Tuesday. Yesterday we had a consult for my son. And so that's how I'm remembering it was not like a weekend. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. We are slow on just like filming and everything because I just have not been in the mood. It has been absolutely gloomy out and raining every single day 
for over a week now and if you, I did a video on my TikTok it was like Ariana hands I'm gonna be doing Ariana hands for a while now because I still have a rash on both my hands <laughs> I do go to the dermatologist on Thursday so two days from now and I'm gonna see if he can give me some kind of steroid cream to help clear it up it's from my medicine that I'm taking so it's not like some weird unknown like you need to have <laughs> that looked into it's from my medicine um so I'm hoping there's something we can do I've been putting aquaphor on it it just has not helped so today's plan we got I'm so excited I was at the gym yesterday and I got a little notification in my ear and I looked at my phone and I had my first bookmark online sale so someone on Etsy um purchased my the night court bookmark which is the one I'm currently using so I obviously have to make one because they're made to order I don't have like a stock of them although I'm gonna make some for like my future shows and then I might have some on hand but I don't right now so we have to make this and we have to ship it out to Sarah so Sarah if you came from here thank you I appreciate it I hope you love yours as much as I love mine because it it just all my bookmarks make me smile, but like this one has a little romance behind it too because this is Rysan's bookmark um, since it's the Night Court. And especially with the book I'm on right now reading, it's very fitting. So, <laughs> I'm almost done with that one by the way. Um, we need to do that and then I want to, I was watching an Etsy SEO video today because SEO is not a strength of mine. Honestly, after this video though, I feel like it will be for Etsy, not for YouTube. Um, but I watched, it's the Etsy Consultant is their channel name. Go subscribe to them, especially if you have, well, if you have an Etsy shop, not especially, like if you have an Etsy, Etsy shop, subscribe to them. Because so many good tips on here. What I'm actually gonna do is uh, create a file, like a Canva file. And if I can figure out, I might have that link down below so that you can use it if you want also. Um, just so I can print it out and do all my listings. And then hopefully within a week, all my listings will be SEO optimized. And um, that technically is. It's search engine optimization. But hopefully I get them all done. And then we can uh, just feel a little more confident in what we have done to our Etsy listings. So if for some reason I don't have a document on here, no matter what, I'm going to link the video so you can create your own anyways. But I am very much a note taker. So um, we had did that. And that's all I still need to. I didn't show you actually. I need to do a test print of an embroidery design I want to do with a frog uh, that's going to be funny. But I got some sweatshirts. I think I bought 12 so that between my February and my really like through probably May markets, um, I can have this mint green color and I think the March, I do a market literally on St. Patrick's Day and it's not a St. Patrick's Day theme but it's green so I'm like that actually might do really well and I didn't overbuy on it so um, it's just a gilded hooded sweater that's gonna have a little pocket design. It is gonna be cute. Hopefully. I still need to do the test print on my machine to make sure it stitches out well but um, I based on the reviews of the file I bought, it should be good. All right, let's get into, oh, but also what I wanna do, since my beads are gonna be out, I might do a couple of my Stanley charms, um, making them charmier. <laughs> More beautiful than they already are. So that's what we're gonna do. Actually, I might not because my battery is dead. So um, I'll catch you here in like, my time, it might be 20 minutes, your time in a second. <laughs>
package is all packaged up. This is the cutest box. It's um, from Amazon and it has little polka dots on it and it's very sturdy. So if you for some reason need a six by four by one inch mailer, highly recommend. I need to link it in my Amazon. Um, we also have a child that is now awake. I think I woke him up, but that's pretty normal. He took a pretty good nap, sort of. Yeah, no, I'd say it was pretty good. It was over an hour, which is really all we can uh, ask for. And I kept messing up, um, not the <laughs> bookmarks, but I kept messing up filming. For some reason, every time I made four of them because TikTok, I was filming in the app. I would press record, I saw it recording, and then obviously I don't pay attention while I'm going, and when I come back to it, it's it never recorded. So I don't know if it kept like just exiting out. I don't, it was still on the app though when I got finished recording. Like it's not like it completely closed out. So I don't know. Um, I messed up the name. I think I said Sarah ordered this. It was Samantha. Got my S's wrong. So sorry, Samantha, if you are watching, um, it, your Ooh. name's Samantha. And you're from Cincinnati. Why did I not see that? I went, I obviously printed out the shipping label. And you're from Cincinnati, which means, one, you're probably not watching this, but two, I, I wanna guess you came from my show, from the Rheingeist one. Because I haven't had a Cincinnati order before. And I obviously did the Rheingeist show like two weeks ago. Um, so if you were, cause I had a few people tell me like, if you start doing uh, bookmarks, towards the series, like a night court one, I will for sure buy. I wonder if you are one of those two people. You might be, you might be. Um, but I just know, like the inspiration, it's like my favorite bookmark. It's obviously the one that I use because we're twinning now. <laughs> um, so yes, we are done. We need to go to the post office and drop it off. It just started like really thick snow pouring down, but it doesn't look like it's sticking because it has been in like the, 40s, 30s lately. Um, and I think it's just a little too warm on the ground to stick. So I think we should be good to leave now and not have any issues. Um, I just like going and I have a blue box and this fits my blue box, but I, I like going in person and getting the receipt just to know for sure it gets marked in the system as shipped. Um, she ordered this yesterday, so I'm like processing time alone is three to five days. I'm way ahead of schedule. I just like getting out as soon as possible. And it's done, so why wait? Oh, I also wanted to show you guys I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of that list done that I told you I wanna do. I bought this from, oh, I saw it on Instagram, an Instagram ad, and it was $90 on Instagram. And I'm like, I feel like this is not a $90 product. Um, and so I went on Amazon and I found it for 50 with a coupon. And so obviously I got it. And that's because it's rechargeable. And the one that I have, um, I don't even use the light on it because you have to plug it in and the cord is literally like a foot and a half long. And so who's, who is that close to an outlet? I know I never am. Um, and so this one, I got rid of that one. Um, I donated it. And then I have this one now, which I don't know if I recommend it yet. Um, just because this does not stay in its position very well and it comes with a little screw that you have to uh, tighten it and loosen it but even at the tightest it still kind of droops so i need to play around with it a little more and then i'll tell you guys if i recommend it or not but i will say it is very compact so let me uh, let me put it in for you and it has the the different lights um you can do yellow toned or blue toned and i think there's like a red toned light in there Okay, I swear, this thing is not the easiest. Okay, here we go, here we go. And, come on, it is heavy. It feels like a brick. It has to be heavy though to support your phone when it's going over that like 90 degree angle. Um, and then the little screw it comes with, it's so tiny, like I literally lose it every time. Can you see him rolling in? Um, it's this thing. It's like one of those things you get for free in those furniture sets, anything you like build. It's, I, I need to just get one that um, actually has a handle because it kind of hurts your fingers when you're uh, tightening it. 
first world problems. But yeah, you have to not lose this and there's not a compartment for it. So I need to figure out like a this tape situation to just tape it on there so I don't lose it. All right, post office time, battery is dying. Let's get a few more things done today. Maybe, maybe not. I might see you tomorrow and do the rest of the list then. More likely than anything. Also, my face. We don't have time for me to complain, but I woke up and I had like three monsters in a triangle. Well, not really a triangle, an acute triangle on my face. Very upsetting. And now I'm leaving. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Just kidding. Redo, redo, redo. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I had a dermatologist appointment this morning. It lasted all morning. And we're home now. And that means I got Asher to sleep. Thank the Lord, because he was at his grandma and grandpa's. And that means he's hyped. Um, but he's sleeping right now. A little nervous because, well, first off, we got an order and I'm very excited. I've been like dancing to it. So um, Kiki, I won't know your real name, that's your Insta, no, it's your TikTok name. Thank you so much for your order. You are a blessing. <laughs> um, we have to make it though. She ordered a anxious extra large sweatshirt and I don't have one made. So we're gonna press that. What I'm nervous for is because it is nap time and I told you guys this, I think I even shown it in my video, my heat press is a mind of its own, the devil. It just will, for no reason at all, start screaming. And by screaming, it has the most obnoxious alarm that rings for no reason. No, well, there might be a reason. I have no idea what the reason is. It just goes haywire and this like digital screen just starts, not even like words, it just, I can't even describe it. I wish I could show you. Um, just crazy, like alarming things start popping up. It's a open box purchase from eBay that they sent me the wrong thing anyways. And then when I messaged them, they were like, oh, we actually don't have the heat press that was in the listing, um, but we'll give you $40 uh, for to keep it basically. <laughs> um, so I, it was ha I got the heat press for $40 and I paid $40 for shipping. It was a $230 heat press. It's a good deal, but I'm pretty positive it is uh, possessed. And I think that's why someone probably returned it in the first place. <laughs> so I'm really hoping it doesn't go off, but it's almost 100% that it will, which means nap time is going to be cut short um, while I'm heat pressing. But I do all my stuff during nap time because it's the only time I can film without him um, either knocking my cameras off while I'm filming or just... Uh, <laughs> going crazy around me and I get so nervous with the little baby hands around the heat press because it's really hot so we're gonna be doing that um also this morning I like to get on it's not good for, like don't take don't do this but this is what I do um in the mornings I check my socials just to make sure one I didn't get any orders um which that's good to do that's not what I'm saying but like scrolling in the morning you probably should just focus on yourself um so don't do as I do do as I say um I was on I pulled up Instagram and the first post on there was a girl and it was like a a, a reel about how she was at the wrong craft fair because she was surrounded by MLMs and baked goods. And um, I just went to the comic because I just love, <laughs> I don't know, especially with MLMs, the comment section always gets me. Um, I think it's, it's hilarious sometimes. And so I'm scrolling and it stopped being about MLMs. It started going into comments about how um, what's worse or almost the same as MLMs is when you get um, put next to a tumbler vendor, like a glass cup tumbler vendor. And my attention really peaked because obviously I sell them. It's not my main thing, but I sell them. Um, and I was just reading the comments of people saying like how um, dumb it is and how how Tumblr people think they're artists and they shouldn't actually be allowed in craft fairs and how they just steal stuff from others. And I'm just like drinking my coffee. Like, is this how people think of um, anyone that has glass tumblers in their booth? Cause now I'm feeling a little self-conscious, honestly. 
like am I that person that people like <laughs> at the like like my rhyme guys event like that was a very artsy event and like i did feel a little out of place because i'm not an artist per se i don't consider i like art i like drawing but i am not at the stage in my business where i'm hand drawing everything you know like i do draw some things like some of my cups do have like my actual drawing on it but a lot of it is like stuff that i design and like i put pieces of here and there from like um uh, like canva and and then i like i don't know i don't know how to describe it but anyways i'm just wondering like is that do i get off that vibe am i one of the people that they're like she doesn't she should never be allowed in one of these like block them ban them for going to craft markets i don't i didn't realize how hated we were so please leave in the comments below if that is something you have also came across like either that being a judgment you've heard of or maybe that is your judgment like no no worries not gonna hurt my feelings i'm just like very curious is that what people think like tumblr people that sell tumblers are jokes call me a clown i am drinking my green drink the apple cider oh so good from ghost best I've ever had green drink wise okay let's go ahead and do that so here's the plan I'm gonna make Kiki's I will give you Kiki's real name once I print out the shipping label and it allows me to see it um Kiki's sweatshirt because we're gonna drop that off at the post office today because TikTok is insane with their turnaround time and I don't like me like even getting close to the window of um them canceling it and then we have to make my niece a distracted sweatshirt for her birthday that's this month and then i'm making three additional anxious sweatshirts for my show um february 18th at ryan geist again um just because i'm out of that specific design in those three sizes so i'm trying just to do like one of each size because the clothes did not like that was not a hot seller for that one so i'm not gonna go crazy um but i did sell actually i only sold two sweatshirts anyways um oh by the way i do have medicine from the dermatologist um getting sent in to take care of this hand issue that is 100 percent confirmed caused by the accutane so that's great i'm excited to get rid of that it's just like not cute <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do have anxiety. I have a lot of anxiety right now because I switched my pharmacy. Obviously, I was not going to go back to Walgreens after all of that. Um, but I'm having anxiety now of like, well, now what? Like, there's going to be some issue now with Walmart, which is where I'm going to get it. So I need to call them later and just like check in. And be like, hey, uh, just making sure you were able to order it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and like really helicopter that one. So. Let's get on to the sweatshirts. Goodness, it's so cute. Ugh. We need to put it on a sweatshirt now. Now that I know the design is good, look how adorable that it's gonna be. This is step two. <laughs>
happy Monday. We are not happy. Asher has been sick all weekend and now Mama is sick. So that's kind of the gist of how this week has started. I really wanted to, it's like, it looks so nice out, but it's technically only upper 40s. I was gonna go run, but then I just started feeling so sick. I'm like, I don't even want to put my body through that. I think tomorrow is gonna be still in the 40s, but I believe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is gonna be in the 50s. So that will be exciting. Hopefully I feel better by then and like Asher and I can go to the park or something fun. Um, we have really <laughs> just been, well today, him and I have been reading a ton because he gets in like spurts where he just gives me the same book over and over and over and like forces me to read it. And I try to read new ones, um, but he doesn't like them. He definitely has favorites. I put together some dog keychains, not keychains, bookmarks. So I, I'm sure I'm going to show them or I have shown them already. I love them. It's like, it is my favorite design. I don't even have a dog. I just love the blue. I did a lot of applying to markets the last few weeks and I don't think I've talked about it much because I don't think I've talked much at all in these videos. I've been doing a lot of like uh, just music work with me type <laughs> clips and um, I've gotten rejected from a lot and again we knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I get rejected a lot because I'm newer and obviously the longer you're in business, the better not only your display is, but also, even though I love my new display, but also just like uh, word of mouth and you have more followers, which is a huge deal to a lot of these markets having followers, which I was not anticipating, but I should have because it makes sense. It does. It's like marketing. You want people that have an audience that are going to go to your market that you're throwing. Um, because they're an asset um, and I'm not quite there yet and I understand it sucks because there are a couple markets I really wanted to get into I think I just have too broad of a display where I think if I were just like if I were only a beaded bookmark vendor that would be different I think I would get into more because it's more diverse and less uh, people that do it but because I have Embroidery, bookmarks, earrings, uh, Stanley charms and pouches. Yeah, like I, yeah. I'm dipping my toes in too much. And like glassware, yeah, yeah. I think I just need to really like tone down. Or when I'm doing the applications, like send them a message and be like, hey, if you don't need such and such vendor, like I can like limit yeah, what I bring. Yeah. You know, like I cannot bring embroidery. I cannot bring glasses. Honestly. If I am being transparent here, I think I'm going to phase out of my glassware because it just stresses me so much. I've sold, I think 40 glasses online where I've shipped them and luckily only one has broken where I had to resend it, but it, that it stresses me. It's glass, like you can't control if someone drop kicks <laughs> your package to the new owner, you know what I mean? Um, and at markets, it stresses me out because when it's windy and it's an outdoor market, or when, even when it's not windy and you just have glassware at your table and people bump into it, I'm always just like on the verge of like a panic attack. You know what I mean? It's, I think I need to be done with them. But I have like 50 glasses that I need to sell before that happens. So. With that in mind, I have my milk and cookies, my crime cups. I think I have like 20 total of those that I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna obviously um, retire that design. I have a really cute design that has been in my like drafts for a while. I'll probably make some of those, a couple of them. And then I have um, my ghosties and my gingerbread men that I can just use them in the fall. So I don't, I don't really know if I'm gonna do much spring glassware. Um, I just really just need to sell those so and then just be done which is sad because like I love drinking out of them it's just I don't think that that's gonna get me anywhere you know like I don't want to be a glass or glass vendor even though that's right now like online the only thing that sells um but it's too stressful so I think we're gonna phase that out I would love like at shows just to bring like a tub of clothing and that is it. Like I don't want to be the full, sole focus of clothing. I think I would love, 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 love. And my plan is um, 
to have a design your own bookmark booth. So I'm gonna obviously have my bookmarks that um, I pre-made and you can buy them. Then I'm gonna have a table that is gonna be a design your own bookmark booth where you'll see it soon, I'm sure. I think my first show I'll debut that will be in April, but I'll pre-make all the little dangly portions, like all of this and have it to like pick three, one and a half, you know, pick three of the big, the big size, pick two of the small sizes, like this is my small size, and pick uh, two charms, and I'll have like an area of charms, and then I'll put it, I'll, I'll put it together. So you're still getting the same quality, because I'm still doing it, um, and we're gonna have everything pre-made, so I'm just gonna have to use the jump rings, which is what this thing is. Oops, I'm gonna lose that. Um, so I'm just gonna have the jump rings where I put them all together. So that'll take me like, the, the hardest and longest part is putting together these things, right? The jump rings don't take long. Um, so I could probably get out in a couple minutes, someone designing, and I can like put it all together like this for them. Um, I think yeah, I've, yeah. if I had to guess, I had timed myself, but like, it took about 20 minutes to make this, like put all the beads on and everything. So it takes a decent amount of time. But to do the jump rings on their own, it literally only takes like a two, like I said, two minutes. Um, so I think that'd be so much fun and I think that would be a good crowd pleaser. So anyways, back to markets. I have gotten into a few that I'm really excited about. Um, I'm on the wait list for a couple of them, but I got in, so one of the ones is Mustard Seed Market. So if you're watching this and you're from like the Indiana, um, Ohio area, it's more near Scentsy, and um, it looks so good. So I'm definitely going to two of their markets. Unfortunately, they didn't have any indoor space for me, which like, that sucks because if it's raining, like it's just gonna be inconvenient. <laughs> but um, they got me an outdoor space because they're like, well, in your category, we have, um, no one in the outdoor space, so we can put you in that. And I'm like, awesome. I'm like, I would rather be there and be outside than not be there. <laughs> so we got into those. So spring and fall. I'm on their wait list for their winter one. And then um, I'm doing some Troy ones, which I'm really excited for because I love Troy, Ohio. Uh, it's near where I grew up, and I am just like, I love their festivals. <laughs> I'm hoping to get into some Tip City ones. I got into a Kettering one. Um, I'll go through all the rundown of like everything as they get closer, but my future future in sight markets right now are um, the Rheingeist one, February 18th, which is like in two weeks from now. And then I have the Rheingeist one, March 17th, which should be good because it's St. Patrick's Day. And then in April, I have one in Troy. So that's small town productions. I'm really excited. Um, I don't have much to prep though. I really don't. I am going to probably for this upcoming market, um, make obviously make bookmarks. I'm not going to do the build your bookmark at that one because I just have a table and that's just like way too small to do that. Um, and then I, oh, I, I have, you've seen it, I'm sure. Um, or I'll put it in now. I have such cute green hooded sweatshirts with a little embroidered frog booty that says don't stare. I really did that because of St. Patrick's Day, but I think I'm gonna debut them at the um, February market and then sell what's left over at the St. Patrick's Day one, which I think they should sell. And if they don't, the April one, it's not a St. Patrick's hoodie, you know what I mean? It's just green, so I think people will, drunk people will buy it. Um, I'll sell it in April if it doesn't sell, but I think it will, because I only, I only have 12 of them, so that's not much, and people like embroidery. So, yeah, I think really just gonna see me do Stanley Charms and bookmarks for the next couple weeks. All right, I need to get off, because I need to start prepping dinner, and I still need a shower. So I just wanted to actually like come on here and talk, because I realized I had been filming so much of me not talking that it's just gonna be really weird and out of order, or it's just gonna be a lot of music for you guys. I don't know, hopefully you are uh, jamming out, doing your own work, whatever you are doing, and this is like soothing in the background. I don't know. Comment 
comment what you're doing when you watch my videos. I I know when I watch YouTube videos, I'm either on the couch first thing in the morning, drinking coffee and feeding Asher, or I am working on whatever it is, whether it's embroidery or like bead stuff, um, watching in the background. Although right now I have Disney on because when Asher is awake, um, normally he doesn't let me do anything ever. <laughs> He's just wanting attention. Um, but sometimes I can get him to pay attention to the TV. He just doesn't like, he doesn't love the TV yet. Which I mean, that's a good thing. I don't really want him to love it. But there are times when I'm like, just let me do one. Just let me do one thing. I did. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have so much like mash together that I think I have too much. So we'll end the vlog here. I will see you guys probably again tomorrow to start doing more prep for the February show. So thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Well, for you guys within a week and for me tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.